guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Miata video. As you can see behind me, this is not my Miata. Well, it is my Miata, but it's not the abandoned Miata. It is a different abandoned Miata. So right here, we have a wide body 1991 1.6 liter Mazda Miata. I am super stoked about this. It's probably gonna end up being a flip car, but I got it for a price that I just couldn't argue with um, and it doesn't run. So we're gonna try and figure that out in today's video. Let's get with it. So right now we've got the truck on it, obviously. Jumping the battery. Uh, the battery's pretty much shot, so I think we're gonna have to grab another one. But uh, the paint, as you can see, is so oxidized, it's just coming off. Um, the door hits the fender right there, so that needs to be realigned. It's got a wide body kit on it, decent wheels, so it's got the making to be a really decent car. We're missing a uh, trim piece right there and everything, but it's not terrible inside. So let's see what it does. Yeah. The battery is just too dead, it's not doing anything. So um, I'm probably gonna end up maybe pulling the battery out of the bug, we'll see. Um, I might do that, I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Um, i probably gonna pull the battery out of the bug because it takes about five seconds. Pop this battery out of the Miata, throw the bug battery in there and see if we can get it to crank and start messing with it. So let's get with that. And that's how you uh, real quickly install a battery. <laughs> I don't care, I'm just diagnosing right now. We're gonna throw the little baby battery out of the Miata on the trickle charger and see if it takes a charge. It's claiming the bug battery's dead, but I know it's not. Weird. <laughs> I know it's got a good connection. Weird. I guess we'll throw the uh, truck jumper cables back on it for fun because we know it's a good battery. See if that boosts it enough. Huh, maybe the bug battery did die. It almost sounds like, uh, like it's out of time. Like it's locking up. I don't know. We're gonna wait till we've got enough juice to actually have it crank over though. While we do that, let's go throw the baby Miata battery on the charger. You can just one hand this thing, it's so small. See, says charging. So we'll let that charge overnight. See what happens. Everything seems okay. I don't know. It's got power steering. That's cool. It's a power steering model. Definitely doesn't have coolant. Thermostat housing's loose. Bunch of junk we gotta look into, but I'm just trying to see if it'll crank and fire and if the timing's off or what. Huh. Interesting. Weird. I don't even know what that was. It like cranked and fired, shut off, and then made a crack, almost like a electrical crack. I don't know if it was back here. Weird. <laughs> Could it be the sketchy wire nuts? Possibly, probably. I probably should double check that the engine's in time, but that would take some effort, so we'll see. Also, they did chop the exhaust off. It's just an open header. 
don't know if you, you can't see it from up here, but the exhaust is just chopped off, so that's why it sounds so loud and gnarly. I saw that when I looked underneath it. So it's definitely not happy. It does sound like it might be out of time, but it runs. Um, I need to do some research and figure out what is up with this. Um, I don't know if they're trying to, I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to diagnose with it, if it's, a, if it's an OBD1 diagnostic port. I really don't know. So I'm gonna mess with that a little bit. Um, you heard it's not very happy um i'm gonna pull the valve cover off in a bit and try and set the timing well try and double check and make sure the timing is is set i don't know but it sounds like crap exhaust is cut off right underneath the driver floorboard and everything but we got a running miata so i pretty much just doubled my money because right now if i just tighten up the valve cover um show that it runs say that it needs work i should be able to sell it for 1500 to two grand with miata prices the way they are so Let's uh, let me do a lot more research, but yeah. Alrighty guys, so we got it to fire up and it's actually kind of running for a minute. Um, I plugged a couple of holes that were in the intake. Uh, there was a couple nipples that weren't, I don't know why they weren't plugged, but one I think is PCB stuff. Um, so I messed with it, I got it to fire up and it idled a little bit and so i'm going to run down to the store real quick get some distilled water because the cooling system is empty fill it up see if it holds coolant and maybe go for a little test drive it sounds like garbage right now but we're gonna mess with it so i'll just see you guys when i get back from the store all righty guys we're back we got i actually bought four gallons of distilled water one of them still in the truck but we are going to go inside grab some hose clamps Tighten up this hose clamp, put a hose clamp right there, and then we are going to fill up the radiator, fill up the overflow, hope it doesn't leak out of the thermostat housing because that was loose, and see what she'd do. So let's do it. No reason not to. Let's fire this thing up and go around the block and see what it does. Alrighty. Scoop.
right. <clears throat> so it's still not wanting to idle, but uh, yeah, so it's still not wanting to idle. It wouldn't go past four grand like you saw, but it's running and driving. It's got some pretty specific symptoms. And so I think it's a mass airflow sensor. If not, I should be able to find it pretty easy on the Miata page. So yeah, um, but there we go. This is my thousand dollar wide body Miata that we picked up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that, share the videos. We're going to have some more on this. Uh, I'm going to clean it up and probably sell it, but don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. We'll see you next one. Bye.